Hi, I'm Becky with the Hearst Public Library here with a STEM engine craft for you to make. This craft comes from our 10 minute paper projects book, which you can find here in the library. It's by Sarah L. Shewitt. It's by Sarah L. Shewitt. Shoot, how would you say that? <laughs> it's by Sarah L. Shewitt. All right, so to make this craft, we need some scrap cardboard. I've got a couple of leftover boxes here for my recycle bin. We need paper and a glue stick. We need markers and then we need scissors and string. Um, I just have some leftover embroidery floss that I'm using for the string. Um, and then it's not required, but I always like, if I'm cutting a circle, which I need to for this project, I always like to just find some household object to use as a circle template. So I've got a few cups here of varying sizes for that. Okay, so yeah, I think that'll work. This I can make my spinner a little bit bigger. All right, so I'm just gonna disassemble my box along the glue lines. On the side. So once I have the box open, I can use my paper cup and my pencil to trace a circle. So I need one circle in cardboard and then I need two circles in paper. So while I'm tracing, I'm going to go ahead and get that going. Uh, let's see, I'm going to dig through my scrap paper here. I think we'll go orange and blue. That fit? Sure. All right. So I need two matching diameter circles in paper to go with my one in cardboard. And then I'm going to use my scissors to cut out all my circles. One more. Go ahead and trim the box so it's a little easier to work with. Okay, so now that I have all my circles cut out, I'm going to use my markers to decorate one side on each of my paper circles. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna do some stripes on this guy. So because my paper spinner is going to spin around, I'm curious as to how my stripes will look. when they spin around. So making them different colors to see if they show up. Okay. And over here, I think I'm just gonna do a big one of those. All right. So now I'm going to use my glue stick to glue one paper circle on to each side of my cardboard. Okay. So um, I'm going to use a sharpened pencil to try and poke holes through here. 
So I need two holes, um, maybe a quarter of an inch apart from each other in the center. Um, I would err on the side of further apart than closer together if you're not quite sure. So this part's a little tricky, you just want to be careful not to poke yourself on the other side. There we go. All right. So there's one circle, a little bit off center. I'm going to do one directly across from it. This is probably more like half of an inch apart. There we go. So I bent my paper spinner a little bit doing that. So I just want to flatten it back out again. All right, now I'm going to thread my string through the paper spinner. Have a bit of a knot. Oh, good, it came out. Uh, so let's see, I have probably two feet for each length, so about four feet altogether of string. Just going to thread it through. It's a little tricky when you use embroidery floss like I did because it is made up of six smaller strings and you don't want them unthreading themselves when you pull it through the hole if you don't quite get everything through. So just giving it a little twist on the end to help keep that from happening. Okay. So now I have it threaded through both sides. And you just want to make a knot at the end. So I'm going to cut off just a little bit of my, I'm going to cut off just a little bit of my string because I have a knot at the end. And then you want to tie those ends together. Whatever your favorite knot is. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to pull my string through from the other side and kind of get my paper spinner balanced right in the middle. And then I'm going to just spin it around like this to wind it up and then pull apart. And it spins. There we go. You can see what my stripes do. They sort of blur together all in one. Oh, but this side looks awesome. Ooh, it's like the Twilight Zone. All right. Well, we would love to know if you make these. So if you do, be sure and um, post them online with hashtag HEB Reads or HEB hashtag Hearst Public Library or hashtag Check Out Hearst. See you next time.